All right, guys. Part two of this interesting video with the dummy loads and a one pill amplifier. Now, I'll give you a little load down. This is probably one of the very first amps I ever built. Um, I think I built this back when I was a teenager. Ooh, let's see. My oldest son is now 24, so I'm going to say that I probably built this 27 years ago, I guess now. Yeah, something like that. Somewhere in that area, because I was doing the CB game before he was uh, even thought about. Of course, yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. He was thought about a lot. <laughs> it just didn't happen. Uh, okay, but this is this little one pill, and what I've done here is I want to show you all a few things. One, I'm not going to touch anything with the one pill. I'm going to leave it as it is for at the beginning of this video, and we're going to just uh, jump through dummy loads. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, but right now we've got to set up on my normal setup. And I've got tuners in it, as you see, and uh, they're in there for a reason. I'm going to show you something. But uh, right now, as it stands, y'all seen this, uh, my bird dummy load on uh, the MFJ. Okay, 46 ohms, 1.0 SWR. And what I also have done is because so many people don't really care too much for my digital Dave, so I grab my Yezu meter that I use on my base station behind my drivers. And uh, we've got it in the 200-watt scale. We've got it in peak mode. That's all we're really caring about right now is peak mode. I am going to show y'all RMS on that meter right there, which is a 100 watt slug. Okay, so this little one pill is not doing no immaculate. Now on the digital, Dave, I've got my 500 watt in there to read the peak. Okay, and this is on the 200 watt scale. Stock radio. Um, hold on, we got we got to fix my little ET. He's got to be in attendance for this video. Him and the Hawaiian girl. So uh, okay. But uh, let's get on with the show here. And what I'm going to show y'all is basically this little one pill. Okay. Eh, we're dead keen. I don't know. Eight bird. Oh, yeah. About 30. Here's the peak. Oh, yeah. About 135, 140. Oh, yeah. 130, 135 on the digital Dave. Not too far off from the two. Okay. So, with that being said, what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is incorporate one of these dummy loads in line. So, give me a second. Let me get all this uh, rigged up for uh, the way we need to do it. And uh, I'm going to show you all what's going on. Oh, by the way, no trickery here. 15 volts on the power supply. Okay. That power supply runs the radio, runs the amplifier. We will be right back. All right, guys. We're going to start off just like I did them in order before. Okay, and I've got the uh, little 100 watt in here that uh, I told you I use for coax. Our uh, be, uh, power supply is on the same settings. I have no reason to sit here and BS y'all. I meant to show y'all reflect earlier too. I hope it got caught in the first video of uh, this little one pill. I haven't touched anything. But here's the difference with uh, dummy loads. Now look at my dead key. It dropped from 8 down to 6. Okay, now... And as y'all remember, that was a pretty much perfect dummy load. 1.0, 50 ohms. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Watch this. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You see that? 100 peak. Uh, well, 110. Uh, I'm sorry, 115 to 120, and the RMS. Oh, uh, yeah, about 25. That's perfect. I just can't use that to do amplifiers with. It's just too small, 100 watts. Um, I got to stick with my bird. Um, but that's perfect. Now let's move on. We're gonna move on. And the reason I had to put the phone down before is because I had to rig up this piece of coax. Now, granted, it could be a little, little off because I didn't, you know, I didn't check, uh, I didn't set all these with uh, the coax and stuff like that and with the O-scope and so forth like I do my test center. So, uh, but here we go. We're hooked up to the B&W, my little oldie. As you see, you can see the dust all over it. But let's get on with that one. Still on the one pill, nothing's changed. Dead key's about seven now. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So, 120. My bird went up a little bit, maybe about another two watts. 
and so forth. So, uh, hello, radio. Hello. Oh, about 1.30, actually. So, and we know that had a little homage issue. The SWRs didn't look bad, but it had a little homage issue. Let's move on. Oh, okay. Now, we're going to go to the MFJ. Now, we've seen this earlier. We 1.2 at 30 something ohms or something like that I believe okay let's give that a shot a little one pills holding strong is not warm at all look at my date keeps eight watts now uh, yeah. one, one, one. Audio. hello radio so about 135 hello radio bring a bring audio so, you know, and that's a little higher SWR. But I got the real, the real thing I'm really going to show you all here in a second. So let's get on with the perfect scenario again. And it's probably an unfair advantage because I probably really should have used the six, the six footer down to my dummy load. So kind of an unfair advantage. But this is just giving you all a little demo of, uh, damn, it's got oil all over it. A uh, little demo of what each dummy load can do, and that's all I did. I just moved a piece of coax, full time in the video. Now, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Now there you go. And as y'all see, perfect scenario, just like the, the first one, kind of like my bird one. They're all pretty much in the same scenario. Now, granted, it is lukewarm. But we are heating the amplifier up a little bit. But now, let me show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all how they show y'all all those peak watts in these videos. Okay? And we're going to show you this. And you'll be amazed. And this is why I tell guys, quit watching that peak meter. Peak ain't where it's at, bro. You want the bird. Bird is the word. They need to show you them bird numbers. Okay? So give me one minute. I'm going to get uh, some of this coax out of my way so we can do this video a little bit better. And uh, go back to the original setup, and uh, I'm going to show you all a couple things. I'll be right back. Hey right, guys, I'm back. Now I'm back on the test setup that I always use, okay, which is going down to my bird dummy load. This cable's been optimized. Everything's good. SWRs check out fine. Um, everything's perfect. So with that being said, let me show you all on how they show you a whole bunch of peak watts, okay? Now what I want you all to pay attention to is this peak meter, the digital meter, and then we're going to watch the RMS. The reflex is going to uh, change a little bit, but uh, we're more, more or less concerned with the uh, main output wattage and how they're bamboozling you. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we now have a reference. We're looking at about, I don't know, 28 to 30 RMS, about 130 peaks, okay, between the meters. So, and what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is adjust this pot right here. I'm going to get this coax out the way. This pot right here. We're going to introduce you to a little reflect. So this is going to be a little hard to do. Um, I'm going to attempt to try to hold my phone with one hand and adjust this while you all watch the meter. So let me see if I can do this. Let me see here. Hard to do with uh, one hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, look at the reflect. Hello, 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 hello. Huh. Now, that is a quarter watt slug. Okay, so I mean it's 250 milliwatts, so that's really not bad reflect. Really, it's not bad, but lower is better. We all know this. But you see what I just did? If you believe a one pill can do 160, 170 peak watts, you're a fool. Okay, look at my bird. Hello, 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 hello. Didn't really change none, did it? Still about the same. Usually the bird numbers actually drop some 
when you introduce reflect. I'm kind of shocked that it's uh, staying up there. It's a little surprise to me. But look at them Pequots. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's how them guys are baffling y'all. That's how they're baffling y'all with a bunch of BS. Because, and anybody should know this. Let's see if we can get a good picture. Look at that. It's a 2290. It is a non-red dot. The best that that pill could produce is going to be about 50 RMS and maybe 130 peak. Really. I mean, in reality. I mean, we're only on 15 volts. I mean, look. Look at the power supply down there. Let's see. 15. Dead nuts set at 15. I'd never change the power supply. Okay? And that's how they do it. That's how they make these videos, and they show you these immaculate Pequots, man. I mean, look at this. Come on, man. This is this is cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just putting out one of the baddest amplifiers right now. I mean, that's just badass. And that's how they, they that's how they bullshit you. Okay? I mean, in, in, in reality, the way it should work is, as an amp builder, we look for a 3 to 1 ratio out of solid state. That's the way it works, okay? With all said and done, we're looking for a 3 to 1. Usually, in most cases, it's a 2 to 1, okay? So, a 2 to 1, let's say you're getting 500 bird, you better be getting 1,000 peak, okay? And that's the way it works out. But, you know, to see this, what are we doing? 30 bird divided into 150, let's just give it 150, that's 5. That's a 5 to 1 ratio. If you honestly think that solid state's going to give you a 5 to 1 ratio, that's got to be a nasty harmonicking turd is what we call that. I picked that phrase up from a friend of mine. A harmonicking turd. That's what this is right now. This isn't efficient at all. And, and the, the amp is getting warm. So that just tells me that the reflex in the amp. And that's how they do it. That's what they do. They baffle you. Now let me go back here. I'm going to reset the reflex real fast. Hello, hello, hello. Eh, it's a quick tune, but uh, check, 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 check. One, two, 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 one, two. It's still not right because see, hello, hello, hello. But it's just a quick fastening for the video's purposes only. But this is how they bamboozle you, man. This is how they do it. You don't know how many amps come into my shop from this guy or that guy. And, you know, they claim that the other guy's got reflect or whatever. And they're doing all these watts. And then when I get the amp in here, I showed it on my videos. We show before and after. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's no BS in it. The bird meter don't lie. Don't get sucked into the peak watts scenario because it's not peak watts is where it's at. Anybody can make peak watts, man. Any anybody can make what they call liar watts. You really want to know what the RMS is. RMS is what moves somebody else's signal meter, not peak. An RMS, uh, I mean an S uh, an S meter, will tell you how great your amplifier is. If you could, if you've gotten a new amp and you get a hold of your local buddy that you talk to all the time. And he knows what you usually give him on the S meter. And you've upgraded. And you haven't went up none on that S meter of your buddies. Nine times out of ten. Somebody sold you on some bullshit watts. That's what they did. RMS moves this meter. Not peak. Peak doesn't move that meter. Only RMS does. Don't let them bullshit you. Don't let them lie to you. That's why we do the things that we do here. That's why I've been in this game for so long. There's no bullshit in my game. That's for sure. Hope this was informative to you fellas. I'm just trying to uh, show you guys what's going on out there in the CB world and how these uh, guys are selling their wares to everybody. And it's just not right, man. I'm tired of hearing about it. I I've heard enough. The, my, my phone rings and I, I hear this, I hear that. I get emails on the same thing. Go check out this guy's video. What about these watts and blah, blah. Well, guess what? You know, I don't know how these people run their shops. You know, that's that's up to them. You know, I don't know how they sleep. Whatever. I do my thing the way I was taught to do it. The way 
I've, uh, you know, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I learned all this. I know how to do it. I've been taught it. I've read it. It's all over the place. These guys that come out here building these amps, it's uh, getting phenomenal out there with some of the stuff that these guys are telling people. You know, with uh, the Toshiba's going out on the market, Chinese knockoffs everywhere. The, it, the world's getting crazy, man. It's just getting crazy. I hope this was informative to everybody, man. That's all it was meant to be. Informative. Letting y'all know what's going on and how it works and why it does what it does. And that's all this video was meant to do. Y'all have a super fine one out there. We'll stick man at the new name CB shop. And we'll see y'all. Bye, bye, bye.